Hello everyone, so this right here is my brand new werewolf deck. Um, I've been playing this uh, for a few weeks now. However, um, previously I, I was playing it in a wolf format. Uh, I decided to turn it completely into a werewolf deck. Um, I'm gonna try out uh, how it goes with, uh, with this one. The wolf deck went 50-50 uh, pretty much in, uh, in uh, Friday Night Magic. I also played it uh, in a few other tournaments. It didn't seem that well. Uh, just there are no real good wolves. Uh, what I used to play there were uh, the young wolves and the Pyrian hard wolves. Um, uh, so this is the young wolf, the 1-1 one, one undying um, for one green mana. And this is the Pyrian hard wolf. It's the three mana red wolf, uh, which uh, makes uh, all of your creatures uh, to have to be blocked by two or more creatures whenever it attacks. So here are the eight uh, one mana drops. I have uh, four wolf bitten captives and uh, four reckless waves. So yeah, you see the wolf bitten captive um, buffs itself uh, when it's not flipped and when it's flipped, it buffs itself for more when it's flipped cost four mana on the one side two mana on the other side gives two two and four four um, pretty pretty strong creature um, probably in most situations the the better uh, one mana drop is the reckless wave whenever you expect your uh, opponent to play uh, like a control deck or something like that just because uh, you know he, you're more likely to flip it and whenever you flip the wolf bitten captive you cannot buff it because you do not have the four mana on the second turn that you play. The Reckless Wave is an uncommon, it turns into a 3-2 uh, Werewolf. Still pretty strong. Uh, so, here are the two mana drops. Currently I have only uh, four creatures and uh, eight uh, spells. Um, for instance, um, four enchantments. So, the first one is the Mayor. Uh, you know the mirror it buffs uh, other human creatures when it's not flipped and it buffs other wolf and werewolf creatures when it's flipped also it um, it creates a wolf at the end of uh, each of your turns whenever it's flipped the moon mist uh, transforms all humans into, uh, and then uh, you know prevents all damage that would be dealt uh, except for from creatures uh, uh, you know um, werewolves and wolves so anything else, uh, any creatures other than werewolves and wolves don't do any damage. Have the full moon's rise. The full moon's rise buffs all werewolf uh, and uh, or all werewolf creatures only. Gives them one zero and trample. But the best part about it is um, if you sacrifice it, you can regenerate all of your uh, werewolf creatures. So here are the tr three mana drops. I have eight creatures. Using the Immer Wolf. Uh, this is the captain for the wolves. It has Intimidate, and uh, other wolf and werewolf creatures get 1 1. Also, non uh, werewolf, uh, non human werewolf cre creatures cannot uh, transform. So, once you flip your werewolves, they no longer transform. Here's the Kryn Outlaw. This one is from Ministrat. It's with first strike, and it's a uh, 2-2 creature whenever it comes into play and then when it flips it becomes pretty strong it's a double striker with 3-3 three, three. and it has pretty much the same thing as the Pyrian Heart Wolf except for only werewolf creatures have to be blocked by two or more creatures whenever they attack also uh, it doesn't need to attack for that to uh, you know uh, to be present so I have the four instigator gangs. I at this point I think they may pr pretty much be, you know, uh, too many. I probably should use less. Three I think are enough. So whenever it's not flipped, it's a two-three creature for mana drop, and the attacking creatures you control get one zero that buffs itself whenever it attacks. So when it's flipped, it's pretty insane. It has trample, it gives 3-0 to all attacking creatures. And it's a 5-5 five, five creature. So this one pretty much kills by itself. I'm using 3 Garuk Relentless. Yeah, just because it it makes wolves and wolves are with synergy. 
uh, you know, have synergy with the rest of the uh, cards in this deck. And uh, the Emer Wolf uh, buffs them. And the uh, Mirror also buffs them whenever it's flipped. Because it's wolf, uh, Werewolf and Wolf. Okay, so... Also, you know, uh, you can you, it can be pretty robust whenever you play it. You can use it as a removal. Then, you know, it creates the one one black wolf removal tokens. Um, it also allows you to search uh, your library for a creature if if you think that you can win this way. And uh, the minus three is, uh, you know, uh, gives you. Uh, XX or uh, wherever X is the number of creatures in your graveyard So still pretty strong you can sacrifice for that and I'm keeping one case of cage breaker just because you know It's a late game card the five mana drop and uh, it, it it creates wolves whenever it, it attacks it puts uh, as many two two wolves and to attacking position uh, as the number of creatures in your graveyard so at this point, if you know somebody like a mono red has removed a lot of creatures from game, then you can use it to, you know, uh, to create a lot back. It's a three four creature, not very strong, still pretty useful. I'm using the three Cassicool fronts, I have um, uh, four Copper Line Gorges and uh, four Rootbound Crags, you know, for um, red and green sources. And then I use one more uh, red uh, source, then green sources. So I have seven and six, six green, seven red, just because the only uh, two mana that I commit to is red with the green off, off wall. So this is my werewolf deck. And uh, right now I've been playing it against uh, 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 blue white uh, Delver Spirit. And it's been kicking my ass so far. So. You know, I hope I start beating that deck or otherwise I'm just gonna, you know, start making radical changes to whatever I have right now. Uh, maybe in the next video I'll show you the either the, the blue-white uh, Delver Spirit or maybe how I play against it and how I hopefully win. Alright, see you guys.